Nobody teaches you how to struggle in mathematics. You go to school, they teach you some formulas, procedures. They might tell you why it's important, why you need to learn it. But nobody teaches you how to overcome the struggle, how to actually sit there with, with, with a piece of paper and a pencil, not understand, and not give up and keep going. And the thing is, even when you do understand math and when you do think you have it all figured out, you don't, right? You don't. Nobody knows all of the math in the world. It's, it's always a struggle. It doesn't matter what level you're at. You know, you could be a complete beginner or you could be a math major. You could be in grad school. Or, or you could have your PhD and you could be doing research. It's, it's still hard. And I don't think that the struggle is taught. So in this video, I'm just going to give you some tips that, I mean, it might not make math easier right away, but if you do this, I think over time, you'll get better at math and you'll get better at learning math and it will help you tremendously. So when you sit down to do math, usually you do it because either one, you're interested in it and you're doing it for fun, you're doing it for self-study, or two, you're doing it for a class. So it's like some, some homework you have to do and there's a time limit. The trick is to do it for a third reason. And the third reason you wanna do it is to build a routine and to build focus during that routine. So again, people usually study math when they're inspired and motivated. You know, they'll, they'll watch some video on YouTube that talks about something cool in math and you know, they'll want to go study math. Or again, there's some homework assignment they have due that they don't wanna do. There's a test coming up so they have to study. But when you make it a regular part of your day a, a non-negotiable part of your day, something that you're going to be doing every single day for about an hour or less, that changes everything. So first of all, you're building a routine, you're building discipline. And, and so this carries over to other areas of life. You know, if you can get yourself to do anything productive for an hour every single day, that's going to make you a stronger person. It's going to build discipline. It's going to build character. It's going to translate over to different areas of your life. Secondly, you're not just going to learn math, right? You're going to learn how to focus because you know that at a certain time, every single day, you have to sit down and focus. And so maybe it's 6 a.m. Every day at 6 a.m., you're going to get up at 5.30 and every day at 6 a.m., you're going to work on math from six to seven or from six to 6.45 or six to 6.30, right? Start, start small. You, know, you don't have to go for the full hour right away. You don't want to burn yourself out. And so every day you decide to, to do this. And when you're doing this, you know that's focused study time. You know that's time where your mind has to basically lock in and focus on the mathematics. So it teaches you to focus. It builds discipline and of course, it helps you learn math. Also, the fact you're doing it out of self-study helps. Now, you could use that hour to do your homework. I mean, that's fine too, but the, the, the fact you're doing it every day at a certain time, it, it just does so much for you. It, it really does. It's so much better than cramming. People always talk about cramming, how cramming is bad. I mean, cramming works, you know, if you've ever, if you've ever had a test, and you've studied for like five, six hours and you learn all this math and you think, wow, I can't believe I learned so much information in such a short period of time. And I used to always think when I would do this, I would look back and think, well, why can't I study like this every day? Why can't, why can't I cram every day? Why can't I spend five, six hours a day studying as hard as I just did now? 
And the reality is, it's because we're not machines, right? The reason you cram is because you have incredible pressure. You know that you're going to fail that test if, if you don't study. But if you don't have that pressure, then, then why would you? And why would you want that pressure? It's not healthy. So by building a, a small routine where you just do a little bit of math every day, and, and I mean a l less than an hour, okay, so not a lot, that builds resilience, it builds strength, it builds focus, and, and of course you learn math, right? And I, and I say that last because obviously you're going to learn math, right? That, that's, that's an obvious side effect. But I think it's important to emphasize the other skills you're gonna learn, learn, in particular the focus aspect. When you get good at basically locking in, you know, you get up at 5.30 in the morning, you have your coffee, you go to the bathroom, you have some water, maybe breakfast if you eat that early, and then it's grind time, right? Maybe just start with half an hour. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a little windy here. That teaches you to lock in, it teaches you to focus on something, and that will translate to other areas of your life to other subjects you study because you'll learn how to really focus. You know, people talk about focus all the time. You know, I can't focus, I'm distracted. This is going to basically retrain your brain, right? I mean, it's, 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 it's gonna change the way you think about stuff because you'll be able to lock in and just focus. And that, my friends, is an incredible skill to develop. And, and many people don't have that. There's, there's a lot of people out there, I think, who are very intelligent and they're very brilliant. They're smart, super smart, super witty, just really intelligent people, but, but they can't do math because they can't focus. They'll say, oh, I'm not a math person. No, you just, you're just not a focus person, right? You, you gotta be able to focus and, and really lock in on the mathematics. And so by doing that, I think it'll help you learn more math because the more math you learn, right, the easier it is to learn new math. And the focus aspect, that's what's going to make the struggle easier. Right? We talked about struggling with math. No one teaches you how to struggle. Well, when you learn to focus, that reduces the struggle. And, and you know, the better, the more you focus, the better you get at it. I, I met this professor once. I, I don't know if he's still alive. I don't, probably not. He was very, very old. He was a French man, he was from France. And I was talking to him about uh, math, mathematics. And he was telling me that when he was younger, he could go to the library and he could study for like eight to 10 hours straight, right? This guy could study like eight to 10 hours nonstop, right? Just pouring over books. But, but in his old age, right? and this guy was old, okay? This guy was like, I mean, he must have been in his 70s or 80s. In his old age, he could maybe only do three to five hours, and, he needed, and then he needed a break. And when he said that, you know, here I am in grad school, first year student, and this guy's telling me that he can only do three to five hours of focused study time, right? So I'm thinking, this guy, is a, is a rock star, he's a monster. You know, here he is complaining or saying that he can no longer focus for eight hours. I'm thinking, when's the last time I focused hardcore for eight hours, right? I just, you know, I have to take breaks. People have those, what do they call it? The, is it the, there's a technique where you take a break, like you study for 25 minutes and you take a break or something. This, this guy didn't believe in that. This guy was a hardcore Frenchman, right? Old school, Harvard PhD. Right, this guy got his PhD from Harvard. I mean, so he had trained his brain to get to that level. And I think, I think people don't understand that. You know, people don't understand how hard math is too. You know, if you're watching this video and you're thinking math is hard, try graduate level math, right? I mean, that, that's really hard. I can't even explain how hard it is. So to even get to that level and succeed at that level, you have to train your brain to focus. And so this technique where you start small, I, I think can help you. And that's why I wanted to make this video because if you start small and train and build your way up, it will make it easier to learn new math. It'll make it a lot easier, a lot easier. It's like, it's like working out, you know, if, if, um, if you do one of Arnold Schwarzenegger's routines 
and, and he has his book, The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. It's got all these workout routines. And I've tried to do those and I can't, right? Because I'm not a bodybuilder. But if you try to do one, you do it for like a week and you'll burn out. Why? Because you're not at his level yet, right? He had to start slow. It's the same way with mathematics. It's just you can't see it because it's in your mind, right? You can't feel it in your muscles, but you feel it in the lack of focus and in the mental fatigue. So start small and do it every day and work your way up. And you're going to notice a huge difference. And a side effect will be that you're going to get good grades. <laughs> so you'll learn math. But, but the point is you'll learn how to focus better. right? And that will help you learn even more math and it will help you in everything else in life. Everything. So yeah, kind of a random video. Uh, if you want to learn math, I have courses. Check those out. Links in the description. I have books. Check those out. Links in the description. The most important takeaway from this video should be that it's it's building your focus, right? Not just building your mathematics. It's, it's the focus aspect, right? And little bits add up. And you'll get there, my friends. Stay strong.